Should Brussels have intervened earlier amid concerns that Poland and Hungary are flouting EU standards? They've both been earmarked for possible disciplinary action, something that does have its supporters when it comes to protecting the rights of European citizens. But I think the European Commission and the European Parliament has to have the courage, and I, I'm really pleased. I'm actually very reassured and relieved that our institutions are standing up for our rights. And of course, there will be this acrimony that starts off, but it's not going to get any, you know, it's been like this for some time now. Since the proceedings were launched, it's been like that. But I think basically the people in Poland will be quite relieved that someone is standing up for their rights. But as the Hungarian government takes to social media with this anti-Brussels video, analysts say it should never have come to this. Well, Hungary is already mounting a very uh, assertive uh, campaign against the vote, um, against the debate in the European Parliament. And I think that uh, speaks to the need for the EU to build up a much broader set of alliances, uh, speaking to the more pro-democratic voices uh, in these countries. And also to realise that the EU needs a process to engage in these kinds of political uh, developments at a far earlier stage. It may simply be in Hungary, we've left things so late, it's really, really difficult to reverse the kind of anti-democratic trends we see at the moment. In a Euronews poll in Hungary, more than half of the respondents said they thought the European Parliament's recent vote to trigger Article 7 against Budapest was fair.